How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Plays and Deadly Premonition. Can I open this door? Yes, I can. It's the only door I can actually open, so that's a good sign. Um, I don't... This is infinite lasting. I have one slash left with my knife. And no one is here that was actually here for the investigation part, so that's great. <laughs> Anna? We just saw you dead on the table. So, a little confused on how that happened, but okay. Let's just hope I can find a weapon quickly. Before something starts trying to kill me. Nothing there. Oh, I hear some, some noises. Oh, I got some ammo. That's, that's a good start. Got some 10 millimeter ammo. Uh, I have a 9 millimeter gun, so it's not the most useful thing. You auditioning for Baywatch? Slam that door open. Oh, God. Hi. Hello. Just gonna scoot on by. Just gonna scoot on. I went to scoot. I was trying to scoot. Game. Game. Allow me, allow me to scoot. Am I crawling? What's going on? Stop crawling. Just get out. Oh, oh come on. She was so far away. All these fangirls all over me. Get up. Dude. Just get up. Oh, oh crap. Okay. Oh. Oh. No. She's straight living me up. How strong is that girl? She's so strong. Okay. Let's take her out. Bop to the face. Is she dead? I think the purple goo means they're dead. I have, I, I have, I have, um, some money, or not some money, I have some snacks as well. I think I have a health kit, actually. Let me grab my health kit. This one. Items, yes. Oh, can I drink coffee? No, that retire, recovers sleepiness. Patrol car will come soon, don't need to worry about that. Uh, I guess we're just gonna use the bandage. We're gonna use two of them. There you go. Now we can. We are popped up in health. Of course, of course, of course. Screw this. Just go. I don't want to deal with any of them. God, there's too many. There's way too many monsters to fight. Like constantly. I, I'm. I think the best option is to go the Resident Evil route and just dodge them. Oh, they're so quick. But I'm too quick. They're so fast, I'm faster. Oh, you're never gonna catch me, zombies. Oh, no, she caught me. Ah, she caught me. Get her off, get her off. On that way. All right, back up. Move it, out of the way. Out of the way, slowpoke. What's this? Go through the door? Okay, yeah, let's do that, I guess. Oh boy, what is this? I got some coffee. That's that's gonna be real great for fighting monsters. I'll say that much. Smack on the coffee cup. I guess it's the thing I'm gonna be doing for. Let's look underneath. Ooh, ooh, okay. And a key card. Key card for central building. Okay, that's good. At least we got something. Nope, 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 nope. Laters. Nope, not that way either. I want to go this way. Out of the way, lady. Uh, I actually did not want to go that way. I think I'm going backwards. Yes, I'm definitely going backwards right now. Oh, scoot around. Nope, can't scoot. My level of scoot's actually quite diminished, it seems. Okay, I have three shots left. Oh, one shot left. And we're good. Can you please fall over? You're kind of in the way. Oh, wait. Oh, I have infinite ammo or what? Hold up. I have infinite ammo with this gun? That's why I wasn't shooting things as much. Okay, well then fine. I'll just start dipping everything. I thought that the 19 I had was the 19 I had. 
The 16 I had was the 16 I had, and I was otherwise I had to find more. Because I figured that the red, because it's because of the, the infinite infinity symbols, because of durability, not because of ammo count. Get up, York. Yes, sack of baloney. The aiming is really bad. Oh, there was someone behind me. Uh oh. Right, please tell me that her, she's dead. Please tell me, get up, York. Get up, York. Get out of the way. She's going to grab you. She's going to get grabbed by the ghoulies. I have a key card. Swipe the key card. Okay, sure. You know, gracefully stop and then swipe the key card. And go through the door instead of just rubbing your chest up against it. Go through this door. Oh, lots of stuff. Ooh. Yeah. What do we got here? It takes some stuff out. I don't have anything in here, so really no point in doing that. Let's see, coffee. Fires covers a little bit of tiredness. We'll put one coffee away. We'll put the the donut away. Keep the pickles. You never know when pickles are gonna come in handy. Very rare and strong brand smoking that will make you forget the time is going by. I really don't know if I need that, but we'll, we'll keep three available slots in our inventory. Oh, I can change my outfits here. I really don't think I need to. Let's go ahead and save the game. Y'all. Yeah. And now I think I can pick stuff up here. I can take a nap. Well, I don't want to take a nap for sure. I will grab a stabilizer. And a mission knife. Got another knife. Good, that's good. And a lollipop. Okay. I can actually put these in my toolbox directly, I think. Just discover. I just noticed. And a first aid kit. Well, let's pop you into the toolbox. I know we moved to the toolbox. Yeah, okay. So that does work that way. I think there's something else in there, but it's not a big deal. Unless it was a key, in which case it's a pretty big deal, and I probably need it. But for now. We're running past as many zombies as I can. Never mind, because. There's boxes blocking the way, so I need to kill these before they get in my grill. There we go. There we go. If I didn't kill them, they this thing would they they would have gotten me on this part. Can I just break it actually? I just realized because that one's falling apart. Okay, okay, I can reload manually as well. It's good to know. And perfect timing for a cutscene. Hmm? Okay. Here! Over here! <laughs> Still not, uh. Okay, yeah, let's. Sure, let's follow Demon Girl. Why not? Let's flip through the door. Not flip through the door, but slam through the door. Pop that in the toolbox. Actually, I probably should have kept that and used it, but not a huge deal. Door? Open? You guys, there's a first aid kit. Medium sized one and a safe spot. Ooh. I feel like safe spot right by something I can interact with means I can probably be expecting a boss fit of some sort. Let's see. And I think we're turning the MRI machine on. In which case, everything magnetic should be all jacked up in that room. Or not. Oh, we're pulling this out, actually. We're actually pulling it out. Now we can get the key card. So you can apparently only get from a certain angle. Interesting. Now, slam way out the door. Nope. Nope. Juked him. Juked her. I'm gonna find the entrance. Oh, I got some... Ancient Honor, that's always good. 
Still not 100% certain what that does, but okay. Yeah, so if you if you auto lock on, it sucks because it shows you it auto locks into like the crotch for some reason. Amazing. Amazing? Just out of the way, demon goo. Demon goo. Be gone. Oh my god, why am I stuck here? There we go. No longer stuck. I need to find an entrance. I have the new key, I have a key card for the entrance. Oh. Nope. That's not the entrance. Pop. Oh, there you go. Entrance. Awesome. So I have that key card. And through the door I slowly go. This system's like old. Because it's so slow when it comes to the, the key card unlocking it. It's kind of weird. Also, those tentacles things. Or vines. I think they're vines. Yep, boss fight time. Oh, he's got a shotgun. And he's got a pistol. Oh, he's got a shotgun. This ain't good. I feel like giving zombies shotguns is kind of uh, against the rules of zombies, but okay. I'm gonna focus on the left, I think. And then try to like start flanking around. Like try I'm trying to like strategize this already. Go, go, go. Let me do it. Let me let me take over. Got him. Oh, it's like God, the controls are like really lanky when it comes to the aiming. Cool, back here. Oh, I was gonna say, wait, did you not drop your shotgun? Alright. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Nice. Okay, so shotgun shells. Okay, so I can get shotgun shells and other ammo from enemies I kill that have the same gun. That's good. I don't have a shotgun though, but I'm sure I will at some point. Maybe? Possibly? Hopefully. All right, we have the first aid kit. Let's grab that for sure. And oh no, um, freckly girl, Barb. She she's missing. Actually, yeah, everything's kind of missing, so I'm not too worried about her. I'm sure she'll come back. First aid kit, medium. Let's see. Oh, okay. Just had to pick up everything. I guess. Uh, a turkey sandwich. An unbelievably delicious turkey sa Never mind. Let's just tell me what a turkey sandwich is. Agent Morgan, if you're so desperate, then why not smoke two at once? It... <laughs> what was that? A little shuffle, a little dance. He's the killer. Is this is this normal in the town? That's Harry, Harry Stewart. One of the bigger problems around here. His father started up the lumber trade and founded this town. But he's a weird one, as I'm sure you can see. Always dressed like that, never speaking to the townsfolk. And just FYI, he owns almost the entire town. S Not that that makes any difference. So long as I'm around, he won't be getting away with any funny business. So we're in a ragtown, ragtag team of teenagers to have a skateboard competition to defeat him. Got it. Harry Stewart, mysterious capitalist. What's with his neck? What are those? What are those? But also, is it like a gas Mr. mask? Francis York Morgan. Jeez, okay. Haste won't lead you to what you seek. Calm down, my Romance. Your focused on your footing as we speak. So says Mr. Stewart. Michael Tillotson. 
Harry's aid. I say that, but I actually like my compliments a lot. Nice to meet you, too. How did you know my name? I guess follow up. Uh, Pang of the Disco would be a more appropriate thing. Mr. Francis York Morgan, information desires you, just as you desire information, too. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, stop trying to get in our way. Keep this up, and even you'll have to answer to the law. He says no. Mr. Francis York Morgan, with each rain our town goes mad. To our disdain, unpreventable. So sad. So He's just sad talking in rhymes. Thanks for the warning. He's just talking and in rhymes. This is Dr. Seuss. Mr. Francis York Morgan. That's how he always is. Always spouting that nonsense. Don't give it any thought. It's all gibberish. Emily here. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay, thank you, Thomas. Agent York, we've contacted the first witnesses to the crime scene. You can interview them where they found the dead body. Excellent. I was just about to ask if you could take me there. Okay, so we did the autopsy report, which is great. This is interesting, to say the least. Hey, we got some money. Money, 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 money. And I got $2,600 now. Plenty enough to buy a really good computer. You can get an i7, actually, with that. Or an i9. I think it's an i9. I think it might be a server or processor. I haven't built the Intel computer in a long time. I usually stick with AMD just because it's a little cheaper. By a little, I mean a lot. The body was found in the Greenvale Forest Park. That's west from here, and too far to walk. A forest park? It's the pride of the town. It has a beautiful trail leading to a viewing site over Velvet Falls. That does sound fantastic. Show me the sights. Uh, that may have to wait. We oh. promised to be there by 1800 to interview the first witnesses to the crime scene. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna do this now. Let's all hop in the car. Road trip. You guys all in? Oh, nope. Oh, just, gonna, just gonna drive away? Oh, okay. Agent Morgan, if I could just give you a friendly warning. Are you really upset about me taking over the case? <clears throat> I have the authority approved by the FBI to assume command. I understand you don't like it, but you will follow my orders. I'm not disputing FBI authority. But this is our town. You won't get far alone, and you gain nothing by antagonizing me. It's part of my personality. I just do things my way. I can take you off the case if you wish. Stop it, you two. We need to solve this case, not bicker among ourselves. Mm. Just whip it out and compare. Damn. What was that smile? He has the biggest shit-eating grin every time. Oh my god. All right, well, we got to get some, a, a, a far bit away. Quite a bit away, it seems. But the power of Nitro Boost, and also not giving a single crap about my car, we should get there in no time. Just like that, see? I think I need gas at some point, too. Out of the way! Pull over. You didn't pull over at all. You didn't even try. They're not, they're not pulling over, they're not respect- Oh, okay, well, first of all. I have my lights on. And my siren. It's not, it doesn't, I don't think it actually does anything. To be completely honest. It doesn't, it's supposed to be this, the boost. I don't go any faster at all. It is kind of funny, though, because nobody just cares I have this, my siren running. I not about Greenvale, but in my town? You see a cop with sirens on, you pull out, you pull to the side of the road. You don't have to stop completely, you just move to the right. A little tiny bit. I think you're actually supposed to pull over all the way, all the way and let them all pass, but we're on a highway. It's a little crazy to have everyone pull over, especially if you're multi lanes of traffic. Usually everyone just gets to the far right lane, lets, lets the cop go through the left lane. 
And then if you're on a si on, on a single lane road, it's uh, you just pull over like to the side like that. Let them go. Oh, but that's a bridge, and I can't quite do that. Hey, we made it though. We didn't die. Yay! How far I got now? A little less than five thousand. Kind of going the wrong way now too. I think I should have turned there. All right, looks like it can actually. Maybe. Can I? Can I take this? Oh no. All right, so we're gonna loop around, do a little, hang a little UB. We're gonna take that left here, or technically now I guess it's right. This. Oh crap! I completely whiffed it. That's. Oh, I'm running low on gas too, guys. You got? You guys gonna chip in for for gas here? I mean, it's a police car, so the police should be paying for the gas, not me. Just saying is all. That's my. Um, that's my opinion. Taxes from the townspeople should pay for the gas, not me directly. Scoot on, scoot loo by. Still have about 4,000 yards to go, give or take. A couple hundred. Now that I'm saying that out loud, it seems like a lot more. Oh, cool. It's got a, a runtime error. Ah, still running, so who cares? I mean, I literally caught an error in the game saying that it was going to terminate. Do you want to allow it to terminate? I was like, no. And it's like, oh, okay, well, I guess we'll keep going. Ooh. How far? It's over that way. Looks like. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did I just do? What did I just do? How did I do this? Is this the runtime error? I think this is the runtime error. This actually makes a lot of sense as to why it was freaking out about me playing it. Okay. I got something. There's, um... A thing over here. I don't know what's going on with this game right now. But I'm gonna do this. Let's see if I can figure out how to repair things. How do I do this? I can get out of the car. I'm gonna fall through the void, aren't I? Am I gonna fall out of the void? If you're wandering off. Then we'll go on ahead. We don't have time to mess around. Okay, I'll meet up with you later. Agent York, we only have until 1800 to talk with the witnesses to the crime scene, okay? All right, no problem. I'll figure this out. We grab this thing here. And then I'm going to figure out what this nut thing is. I don't know what that's about. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Like I said, I kind of just broke the game a little bit. I'm going to try to make this work, though. I'm going to try to make this work. We have until 1800. If I can just get back onto the road, maybe I can... I probably can't fix that by doing that. I probably just have to restart the game. I'm going to restart the game. Anna's body was discovered by the woodsman Jim Green along with his two grandchildren, Isaac and Isaiah. What were they doing in the forest? Just their daily routine. They found Anna's body during a morning walk. So you've talked to them already? Not officially. Not yet. Not yet? Are you out of your mind? You haven't interviewed them yet? Agent York, that tone is hardly appropriate. We were given orders to wait for you to arrive. Orders by who? A man called Abrams from the FBI. Robert, is it? Good old Bob Abrams. To tell him to stay out of it. It's always tough to have a meddling boss, huh, Zach? I thought you knew, Agent Morgan. Don't worry about it. We may not have taken official statements, but we got all the information we need. I can fill you in right now if you'd like. Thanks, George, but that won't be necessary. I want to hear the details from the witnesses themselves, firsthand. I just can't believe that the children had to witness the crime scene. They may be traumatized. You'd better do this carefully. Don't tell me you get nervous talking to children, Emily. Not at all. That's that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? Ugh, just forget it. Alright, so we're back on the road. Um, I'm actually taking a different path. Going back through the town. Ooh, that was a close one. 
but I'm just trying to see if maybe you can fix or not fix, but prevent that runtime error I ran into before from happening. So I'm just gonna fast forward until we get to something either something interesting or to a point where um, someone says something interesting, like the last part, which I didn't realize happened before, where it was like, hey, do you wanna talk about the case? Or I could just run right into a into a hill. I could do that too, I guess. So see you at the destination. Chicken Donovan Street. Oh my god, it makes me make this giant ass loop for no reason whatsoever. We had like five hundred meters ago, but now it's like probably at least 700. Just because I have to take this giant circle. Giant squiggle. Let's see. Oh. A little better. Back to 500. I think we're just about here now. Probably going to get the cutscene activated at some point soon. Okay. It's 300 yards. And come on, you, you've activated before when I was a thousand yards out. And I was like, wow, really? That doesn't make sense, but sure, why not? Let's take all the bunches. And we're good. I have 34% or percent gas, too. Greenvale Forest Park. Did we close the door on Emily? How rude. Is this government land? No, it's private. Owned by Harry. This whole area? That's right. I'm sure I mentioned that he owns pretty much the whole town. He used the money left by his father to buy up most of the town. Many town residents live on his land. Zach, did you hear that? This entire park. A rich man's personal playground. These country rich folk are amazing. It all looks very well kept, too. York, we can hear you. You realize that, right? I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. It's what everyone calls me. And you are Jim Green? That I am, son. I keep these woods. Jim Green, Forest Park Warden. I mean, Jim Green well, sounds like a, the name job. of someone who would well, do it. Well, I used to be a tree surgeon. And these two discovered the body. Yes, my grandchildren, Isaac and Isaiah. Isaac Ingram found Isaac's bo Anna's body. Isaiah Ingram also found Anna's body. Zach, you see that? Twins. It's just okay. like in my dream. We gotta keep an eye on these two. I'm sorry. Could we talk away from the boys? I want to help your investigation, but I don't want them to hear this. Very well. Emily, please. I'll just take them over there then. Thank you. Hold on. Don't do anything without asking me. These children were the first to witness the crime scene. I want to talk to them. Come on. They're just kids. They have no idea what really happened to Anna. The really defensive matter. pose. You agree with me, right, Zach? How heartless. Do you ever think of other people's feelings, ever? Emily's right. That's stone cold. Even for the sake of investigation. Children see things in pure, simple terms. They may have seen something we adults would never spot. And they are here at our request as well. We could at least chat with them and see if they want to make a statement. Are you serious? I never joke about matters like this. Oh Again with that shit-eating grin. Don't worry. They aren't as fragile as you think. Look at them. Standing so upright there. What the hell is with this guy? Alright. Well, I guess we're doing this. Now then. Isaac, Isaiah, tell me, what did you find here? Anna, she That's was a very so flat pretty. Butt. She had a red dress on. Her hair was shining. Bright gold hair. There were lots of animals around her. Squirrels, weasels, and a snake. A real snake. We didn't know until then. But we know now. Anna was the fairy of the forest. She was a goddess. She smiled when she saw us. She looks so happy. That's right, Isaac. Isaiah, she was a fairy, a goddess. 
I'm sure she is playing with those animals even now. Of course she is. Yeah, of course. Most useful information, okay. boys. Well, Emily, you can take them now. So the information we got of the children is that she's a fairy. Or a goddess. Or some kind of goddess fairy hybrid. Isaac, this is where Anna's body was. And that means our unsub. Our unknown subject was here too. So it's great to describe her an acronym. Happened here. Shortcut. Uh, start profiling. Profiling start. What am I doing? Am I supposed to actually do something? I, I never done anything before here. Anna? 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 Ow. Oh. That was weird. Zach, so something is still missing. We need more clues. There's definitely something supernatural about York. There's save area around here by chance. Perhaps. Oh, there's something up here. It's a bird. Bird's nest. Okay. I guess I can take that out, or actually put that back, I guess. Picture of a vest with holes. I got a picture of a vest with holes, and there's four keys this round. I got the second one. Start profiling. Profiling start. Did anything change or what? Anna, Anna. Extra for profiling. Get some sweet, sweet moolah. There's a bird's... Okay, so there's a bird's nest up here that I don't think I can quite get. Unless I shoot it out. Maybe? Yaha! A missing piece of pinheel shoe. Sweet. I'm not going to profile this time. I'm gonna wait till we get all four of them. Just gonna let that time run out. There you go. Um, oh, there's something over here. Zach, look at the person on the grass. I think we have a clue. Two bent pieces of grass. Another clue. That's the fourth one, which means the third one should be still be around here. Something in the tree? No. Something around here? What about, is, is it George himself? Is, does George have something suspicious going on right now? That was trying to tell me? Yeah, I can talk to George. As you requested, we have permission to stay and look around as needed. But what are you planning on doing? To examine the scene, of course. Basic Crime Investigation 101. We might uncover some further evidence. My men have covered this already. I seriously doubt that there is anything else to find. Well, then you and Emily can wait in the car if that's the case. But I'll take my time here. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing there to check out. So, ooh, maybe back here, though? Oh, uh, there's that. Let me go ahead and grab my mission knife here. A little slash, slash, slash. There we go. What is this? It's a can of pickles. Okay, well, we'll get the can of pickles. Never know we're going to need a can of pickles. I think there's actually a third or second can of pickles. Slashy, slashy, slashy. Oh, knife broke. Which, to be honest, this is a very cheap, crappy knife if it breaks hitting all that. Uh, Focus on the investigation, let's go somewhere else, Zach. Okay. So, don't go that way. Got it. Understood. Uh, I still don't know where this last bit of um, clues are, but, you know, that's fine. There you go. Over here, maybe? It would make sense. It's like an overlooking hill, so. You're gonna have some cool looking clues or something. It would be here, yep. Yep, oh yes. 
Uh, don't need. I want this. I want my gun. Give that bop. And a chip with rusted metal dust. And that is the fourth and final clue, which means we can profile. Slam that E key. Let's see what we've got to say about this all. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's upside down. I guess this is meant to be an anti-peace sentiment then. Or maybe the photos upside down. on the ground were made by uh, high stiletto heels all around here. And this depression here, Agent Morgan, I see what happened here. He hung her from the tree and put on her shoes. He was really enjoying it. Sicko. He knelt down. George, you certainly have a vivid imagination. An interesting theory. Don't you think, Zach? So what was his name again? That Hollywood producer. That's right. Joel. We really ought to introduce George to him, Zach. Profiling is a little different from writing a screenplay, though. An idea being interesting doesn't make it fact. Let me enlighten you, George. The footprints reveal that one of the heels were missing from the shoes. And they're different from Anna's shoes that we saw at the office. Furthermore, there would be even more disgusting evidence if he did kneel and, well, do as you suggested. If you want proof, go ahead and try it for yourself. No. He knelt here for a reason other than simple perversion. Zack, what was he doing in front of Anna? Okay. He brought her out. Was he praying? Yeah, yeah. If we're supposed to believe the whole. Now I get it. He was kneeling to pray in front of her. Called it. Just like the twins. Called said. it. She was a goddess. The unsub. Our unknown subject offered prayers to Anna's body. It's bitten out the tongue, massive body wound. Once dead Anna was transformed from an object of despite into one of worship. So who is Miss Stiletto Heels? The steps are close coming up to the body and then farther apart going away. There was a reason to hurry away then. That settles it then, George. Miss Stiletto Heels is a third party here. She's not the murderer. No one runs away from an object of worship. She could be another victim who was with Anna. Or perhaps an accomplice who fled for some reason. Hmm. She is also one who took whatever it was Anna was holding on to in her hand. But why? Why did she leave her here? Only Miss Stiletto Heels knows the reason for that. She might know something about the man with the reversed peace mark, too. How many women wear high stiletto heels in this town, do you think? Oh, I should think most of them have at least one pair. I do, too, before you ask. But nobody would come all the way out here wearing them, except, well, except maybe one person. Don't keep me in the dark, then. Who might this elegant lady be? Diane, the owner of the art gallery. But she's out of town for a big art auction. I heard she'll be coming back in a couple days. 
and we'll just have to give her a warm welcome home. A more immediate matter then. Where in town can you find something like this? It should be a building that isn't used anymore, with either a lot of metal or metal machinery or something like that. The old lumber mill. Then it's time to really get this show on the road. Could you guide me to this perfect setting for extravagant murder? End of chapter? Perhaps? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So we learned some more information about who it could possibly be, and more actual information about who this third-party accomplice, or possibly just really twisted worshipper could be. We've also traumatized children who said that she was a goddess, as well as confirmed she may or may not be a goddess, or a fairy, or a fairy goddess. And I hope you guys are all enjoying this series. If you are, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And make sure you're subscribed so you have this release new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later.